My story is about the progress being made here at Spectrum Health in treating children with cancer and the hope that it's bringing to families. Seeing children with cancer is unexplainable. The how, the why this happens, it's truly heart-wrenching. Research is the only way to help answer these questions and change the outcomes for these children. Understanding why one tumor spreads across the body while another tumor responds to therapy and another does not. All questions I think about often and parents ask. In 2003, the first human genome was sequenced after 13 years of work. Today, we can sequence a patient's DNA and their tumor's DNA in less than a month, opening new possibilities in ways of treating children with cancer. We can understand what genes are making a tumor grow and divide, what genes are making a tumor resistant to therapy, and we can use these genes to learn how to treat those children. Because of your support, Helen DeVos Children's Hospital is one of the first hospitals in the country to be able to treat children with cancer using personalized medicine. This is important. It's bringing new hope. Let me give you an example. Brooke is a six-year-old little girl who was diagnosed with neuroblastoma when she was three and a half years of age. She had tumors in her abdomen, in her bone, in her bone marrow. She received initial high-dose chemotherapy and her tumor didn't budge, she didn't respond. She then traveled from Texas to New York City where she received more high-dose chemotherapy, lived there for a year, most of the time in the hospital. She came to us in May of 2012. She was one of the first children that were able to treat using this completely new way of caring for children using personalized medicine. One of the changes that we saw in her tumor showed us an active pathway that we don't often see in cancers. We were able to identify a drug normally used for autism that could target this pathway, and so we decided to explore this. In the laboratory, we grew her cells and saw a dramatic response to this drug. Brooke was able to receive this medication, and she's doing wonderfully. We're starting to see answers to the how and the why of cancer getting a better understanding on how to treat our patients. We are at the beginning of a new generation of medical care, moving away from harsh chemotherapies to a more careful and thoughtful way of treating each patient individually. For this, Brooke, the children, and I are grateful, and we thank you. <laughs>